uh, we have Heidi Borchers. Heidi has been crafting her entire life, and today she's digging into her mother Aileen's archives to share some of cool ideas with Ribbon. I'm delighted to welcome Heidi Borchers. Hi, Heidi. Thanks for joining us. Um, I have a great technique today on vintage ribbon flowers, and there is a download on the Cold Craft website, and I'll talk about that later. Um, this is from a book that my mom, Aline, did like oh, 50 or 60 years ago. It's actually from the 50s, and Tiffany and I have been going through the archives and finding things that we thought maybe you might like, and this is one of those. So I'll have, um, Linda, do you have a picture of the ribbon flower that I'm doing today? Um, I think it's the gardenia. If, if not, I do have the, um, the, the project here, but I'll put my camera down for my demo table. I'm going to show you how to do that white flower, which is a gardenia today. So the first thing you're going to need for the center, and I'm using a one and a half inch wide ribbon, and um, I'm using a satin ribbon. Tiffany was so sweet that when she was um, at an outlet uh, ribbon store back on the East Coast um, about a month ago, she picked up a bunch of ribbon for me. And this is what they call number nine, or it's an inch and a half wide. And for the center of the flower, you need about a 12 inch piece. Now I wish I could have this come from the back. That I could have my camera come from the back of me because because it, it's going to kind of be opposite for you. But the first thing you're going to do, I'll see if I can kind of turn a little bit. First thing you're going to do is kind of fold over about an inch and a half, and so you have kind of that fold up on the top. You want that fold to be the top of your flower, so you're just going to start rolling. This is the center of your flower. See how that starts the bud in the center. Now, when I get to the end of that fold, I'm going to kind of fold it back a little bit. I have another fold right here. I'm going to keep rolling, and I'm al almost to the, the end of that fold. I'm going to fold it back again. Keep rolling. Almost to the end of that fold, I'm going to fold it back again, and this is see how it's creating the center? Fold it back again. And then when I get to about another inch and a half, two inches, I kind of push that against the back, like so. And I take a piece of florist wire, and I go right up against it, and I wrap it around to kind of hold it tight. And there you have the center of your gardenia. Now we're going to put that down for a second. And our petals are... We have one row of four inch petals and we have one row of uh, four and a half inch petals. There's five in each row, so you need five petals that are four inches and five petals that are four and a half. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to fold it over. Let's see if I can do it this way. And then you're going to fold it over again. So that's your petal. And then let's do it again. We have the, the piece of ribbon. We're going to fold it over and then we're going to fold it over again. And then what I do on these while I'm putting them together, I just put a pin through to hold them. And as you can see, I have them, I have a bunch here. So then what I do is I lay them out. I lay my five petals. These are the four inch petals. I lay them out. I have one more like that. And then I take a needle and thread and I just start to just do a running stitch oops, on each petal, like so. And I just, on this piece of thread, I put all five of these petals. The first ones I do, this, the shorter ones, which are the four inch ones. And I just keep putting them onto this thread until I have them I have one set here that's already on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little of the Aline Tacky glue and we're going to put it right across the thread. If it decides to come out, it's been open all morning. Get a little... And... So I'm going to put right across the thread here. Like so. And then I'm going to take that center that we just made, and I'm going to put it right in the middle, and I'm going to kind of just very carefully start to gather up that thread. 
Whoops. Gather, gather, gather. <laughs> and just gather up slowly. See how it just kind of goes right around that center. And then I'm going to tie the thread really tight when I get it all gathered up. Tie it up. And you know, I forgot to mention that I don't look at the, the chat room when you're when I'm I'm demoing. So if you have any questions, please wait till I'm done because I cannot see the, the chat room. So save those questions. Okay, so there's the first row. And this is the four inch petals. You just kind of rearrange them. And then we do, I have the second row here already threaded. And we do the same thing. We're going to put a little bit of glue right along the thread line. And I'm going to put the whole thing on top of that. And then very carefully gather up. Gather up each side. Make sure the glue gets onto the flower. You're going to tie that excess thread. And just push it up in there. Tie it, tie it, tie it, tight. And then kind of rearrange it. And then when you have it all together, you can take florist tape and you can get a piece of florist tape here. What I do is I just I just tape the whole thing together at the back. And there you have a wonderful gardenia. Now, I'm going to show you the top of the tin because, um, like I said before, Tiffany does have on, on the Cool to Craft website, she has, um, down, has copied the, um, the original book. It's in black and white, and um, it's a download. And it has, I think it has like 10 or, or 12 flowers. And um, this is the gardenia. It has, it has the folded rose. There's also some little blossoms in the, in the download. And there's also like these little rosebuds. So um, that's available on the Cool Craft website. Also, when I get back from vacation, um, I'm going to be doing a, um, a video class on it, so on, on all the different um, flowers so that you can see how to do it.